If you want to organize your practice management this year, my number one recommendation for you is to use Google Workspace. In this video, I'm gonna show you how each part of practice management can be automated, organized, and streamlined using an app within Google Workspace. And the best part is you can get all of this for just six pounds per month. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Kim. I help therapists in private practice get online, get confident with admin and reduce tech overwhelm. So what is Google Workspace? Google Workspace is a set of communication and collaboration apps built for people in organizations just like you. It has a suite of tools like Gmail, Google Forms, Google Sheets, Google Docs, Drive, Google Calendar, and many more so that you can run your private practice using just this one platform. And there are lots of benefits to using Google Workspace, such as cloud storage, collaboration, accessibility across devices like iPhone and iPad. I love that everything is in one place and you can really seamlessly go from one place to another within your private practice management really easily without even coming out of the platform. So let's break down the private practice workflow and how Google Workspace can assist you with this. Now, if you don't know what the private practice workflow is, it's basically the client journey through your practice and all of the touch points that you have with it that you need to make decisions on so that your clients get a really great service from you both inside and outside the therapy room. I do have a free course all about the private practice workflow. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for that. And that's gonna be a really good starting point if you've never thought about this stuff before, you don't have any processes in place and you're just kind of winging it. So I will leave a link in the description below for that. So the first part of my private practice workflow is the inquiry. So when you are dealing with inquiries from clients, really you want them to come into one place. And for me, I would suggest that would be email. And if you are using Google Workspace, your Gmail account. You don't want to have people ringing you, texting you, sending you DMs on various social media platforms because you're probably going to lose them and you're not going to check all these places all the time. Whereas you probably do check your inbox daily, if not more than that. So you're not going to miss an inquiry from a client. I also suggest having a master client list, which is a Google sheet, which you have on your drive so that you can add these inquiries to the document so that you can keep track of how many inquiries you're getting, how many have converted into current clients and things like that. You may also want to use your Google Calendar with an inquiry so that you can book in an intro call or an intro session with the inquiry to help them convert into a new client. So this utilizes four apps within Google Workspace just for an inquiry. The next section of the private practice workflow is your onboarding. So onboarding is where you take somebody from an inquiry to a current client, and you're going to use many areas within Google Workspace to do this. So first of all, you are going to want to add their booking to your Google Calendar. So you want to block off that time in your calendar so that you know that that time is now taken and you don't book in somebody else into that slot. So you first of all wanna book the appointment on the calendar. You may also want to use Google Meet or the free integration with Zoom so that you can do a one-step appointment for the client and they have all the information about their session in just one place. Next, I recommend sending them a welcome email so that you can tell them all the important information about your practice, your cancellation policy, how they should pay you, lots and lots of information that you might want to put in there and pull out from your private practice paperwork. You'll also want to add a link to your paperwork and any forms that you'd like your client to fill in. And you can use Google Forms for this. You can add the links to the welcome email so that you, again, can just have one step to welcome a client into your practice with all the information they will need. And then I would suggest adding them to that master client list as a current client and also creating a client file on the Google Drive so that you can save any relevant information such as their completed forms, any letters that you have received from any other professionals in their care and any letters that you send to other professionals in their care. You can also add copies of their invoices in there and many other things. Once you have onboarded your client, we're then coming to the regular bookings. And like I said, you wanna block out the regular bookings onto your Google Calendar 
so that A, you know that that time is taken up and you don't overbook with other clients and also so that you can send an invite to your clients so they can add it onto their calendar as well. When it comes to invoicing, you can only really do manual invoicing within Google Workspace itself. So for invoicing, you may decide to use an additional platform like Stripe or PayPal. But if you're just starting out and you have a small amount of clients, you can very easily do manual invoicing using a Google Doc or a Google Sheet template for your invoicing. You can then email it to the client and ask them to pay it via fax. When it comes to communicating with your client, I would suggest doing the majority of that via email so you always know where that information is if you ever need to refer back to it. And everybody knows where to look for communication. So if you're expecting your client to communicate with you, you know it's gonna be in your inbox and vice versa. The only kind of exception for that would be if they are running late to a session or they need to cancel really, really late notice because you're probably in session waiting for them and it's much easier to kind of get a text or a phone call for those kind of things. But other than that, I would really suggest sticking to email when it comes to communicating with your clients. The next section of the private practice workflow is client notes and reports. And both of these things can be taken care of within Google Workspace. So for client notes, you can create a Google Doc to keep notes of your client if you want it in a HIPAA and GDPR compliant system. You could also create a Google form where you just fill in the form and then it automatically updates a Google Sheet or something like that so that you keep a record of the session in a really easy way. And when it comes to reports, you can obviously use Google Docs and create a letterhead template for this so that you can easily write letters to other professionals in your client's care really quickly and really easily and be able to send that document password protected to anyone you need to send it to. And finally, within the private practice workflow, we have offboarding. So once you have finished with your clients, you would want to have their file on the drive, which you would need to keep for a certain number of years if you were with a professional body. You may also want to send them an email with any information about returning to see you, any invoices that are outstanding. You might also want to send them a feedback form or some kind of graduation letter to end the therapy. So again, all of this can be achieved with Google Workspace. So here are some other benefits of using Google Workspace for your practice management. You can use Google Docs to create all of your standard operating procedures, your SOPs within your practice, and you can also create any kind of templates for letterheads, client notes, anything like that. You can also use Google Sheets to create any kind of spreadsheet templates that you might need. So this could be invoicing logs, your client master lists, bookkeeping, revenue forecasting, anything like that that you want to hold data in, you can use your Google Sheets for that. You can safely and securely share anything within your Google Workspace account with anybody else, with clients, a virtual assistant, an accountant, a supervisor, your executor, amongst many other people. When you do come to a point where you want to outsource the administration of your private practice, it's so easy to do this when you have a Google Workspace account. You can share your practice management folder with a virtual assistant and they will be able to run the private practice from the back end for you so seamlessly. And if you have those standard operating procedures, it's gonna be even easier. Basically, you want to start simple and get fancy later. If you are just winging things at the moment in lots of different apps, this is gonna be a great starter for you to get into more sophisticated practice management. Yes, you might want to upgrade to an EHR like Power Diary at a later time, but if you are new to private practice or if this is your first time trying to organize your practice management, I really would look at Google Workspace. You can start with some of the basics, like I've just said, Gmail, your Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, Google Calendar, just to start out. And then you can add in other integrations, which I have a video all about here, so that you can automate and streamline even more. I really can't stress enough how useful Google Workspace will be for you in your practice management. There are so many reasons, and I have so many videos on my YouTube channel all about how Google Workspace can help you in private practice. You'll get a professional email, which will be kim at simmonscounseling.com rather than simmonscounseling at gmail.com 
which is going to make you look so much more professional and like you're going to stick around for the long haul when clients come to email you. You're going to be able to organize, streamline and automate lots of your practice management, which is going to save you time and money in the long run. And it only costs six pounds a month to get started. If you would like help getting your Google Workspace set up for your private practice, my signature course virtually done is now open for a very short period of time. This is a four week course, which we'll do together. There are four modules which helps you set up your Gmail, your Google Drive, your Google Calendar and your Google Forms so that you can create all of your practice paperwork. We have four live calls, so one call a week where you can ask me any question you want about anything to do with practice management, whether that's Google Workspace or something else. We have tons of bonuses as well. So I'd love you to head to virtually irreplaceable forward slash virtually done. And it will give you all the information about the course, the bonuses and what you will learn and how Google Workspace is going to help you up level your practice management this year. If you have any questions about the course or about Google Workspace in general, leave a comment below in the video or send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.